Choo choo, shameless plug, shameless plug. Hello everybody, this is me, Anomalous, Vince Dragonborn, and you can also find my stuff on Magic Gathering Strat on YouTube, possibly their website Magic Gathering Strat too. Here we are for the second round with the um, Boros deck provided by Master of Physics. I keep this hand because this deck has a lot of threes and it has three lands. Looks like we're playing against the mono red deck, which I will be playing later. Um, which just play, it plays a Crone Crusader. Oh no, never mind. I have not seen this deck before. Oh, it's got Glade Clover Scout. Probably not interested. Or unless it's like a yeah, a two color enchantment deck, I guess. All right. Um, leashed. Oh, actually. Maybe I should have used held up the removal there. I'm gonna um, at least definitely. But I'm thinking maybe I should have held up last breath there. No, whatever. Doesn't matter then. Just in case there's an enchantment going on the Acroan Crusader here. Yeah, okay, it matters. No, I guess I guess I'm, I guess it cost me three life. Yeah, that's what happened. So if I lose by negative three life or whatever, because he would, st they still would have got the. Uh, maybe I should, yeah, I should have just killed it right away. That's what should have happened. Got to kill it now, obviously, because it's gigantic and it has regeneration. I probably should have skipped the Gorehouse Chainwalker, just left open removal. Oops. Uh, here, Glade Clover, or not Glade Clover Scout, uh, Deadly Recluse works for me. I'm going to play a Cynic of Tides and pass the turn, leaving open removal. Uh, removal obviously does nothing against this, but it can deal with anything on the Deadly Recluse. Uh... Like, if there's a trick on the thing I block, I want there to be a good, favorable interaction for me. And so if I block the Glade Clover Scout and it's pump, like this, then, um... I'm using this because this can kill things with more than, uh, three toughness, but less than, yeah, you, it's a trade-off. See, if I would have blocked here, then I can't do anything about this giant growth. And if I block here, they just let it happen. They just trade. Since I have mana up, that's all. Like, so that's what I did there. Uh, here, I am actually going to play this. Extort. Uh, I think attack. Maybe I should have attacked with both, because anything it blocks here just sort of gets negated by the next spell I play. Yeah, I should have attacked with a cynic too. Oh well. Then I have made two mistakes with this deck. One has cost me three life. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Does it get trampled too? Oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, yeah, this is an interesting question. I definitely do that, because it's more mana efficient. But then I don't think I swing with the Legionnaire. I think I'm going to do some blocking next turn. 
because I was not playing around Zerta Swine. Though it is a good card in green red. Mugging? Okay, it's mugging on that one. Interesting choice. Oh, because it has the extort stuff. Well, if you're not attacking this turn, I am going to let you trade. And I guess I chose wrong and should have last breath this matter or last breath where to go eh whatever okay interesting attack with everything you can block there chump chump take five then next turn it's block here that's not that good. Huh. Ha ha ha. Yeah, definitely losing this game because I sequenced my spells wrong. Or, well, not immediately winning this game because I sequenced my spells wrong. I can draw God's Willing. Madcap skills. Annihilating fire. Or if I swing with everything and put some at five, it makes my opponent have to do something or die. And what if they block here and here and they only take four and go to four? Then block here, go to four. They still have to draw a creature, but if they draw any creature, it's really bad, so I guess not. Huh. Hey, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Definitely, I think I would have thought about my plays like half a second more. I think I would have won the game like one or two turns ago. Instead, I'm not. Okay. Unleashed. Okay. I guess I should have, I could have attacked there. Oh. Also, if I swing with everything, that leaves me dead to something else on Deadly Recluse on the swing back. Giant growth. Yeah, cause, uh, because, because I took that extra three damage. Uh. Alright, so they played as a Zartar Spine. The weak? Nothing I can do about that. Ooh. That, on the other hand. I'll play my land. Give me all the mana to work with. Uh... Okay, it's dead. Oh, my opponent has no cards in hand, though, at all. Oh, okay. I just drew a VHK in the first play. My opponent has no cards in hand. No cards in hand. You block there. You block there. Three, four, five, six, seven. You go to one. Okay. Okay. 
mugging doesn't go to the face, right? Yeah. So it's a red green enchantment deck. So uh heating apparitions seem good. Storehouse Chainwalker seem bad. Just because I think I'm the control here. Do I want stuff out of stuff? Uh, Shadow's Outrage isn't terrible here. I think it's better than Annihilating Fire. I gotta cut one more. All these cards are so bad later in the game. Uh, I guess the Minotaur Skull Cleaver is technically worse than that. So let's go like that. All right. Uh, this hand I will definitely keep. My opponent on the play, obviously. Constructed. We they mulliganed, we would not like to mulligan. I like this deck. Great. Opponent leads mountain, nothing. We will also lead mountain. Pass the turn. Double mountain. That's probably not good for my two-color opponent. Uh, we will lead planes. Pass the turn. I will hit f4, not f6. All right, well, I'm just going to get in there. Okay, it's dead. Uh... I don't mind my opponent getting life. I think it's better to last breath there. All right, so let's just do Skull Cleaver here because if it's another shock, it's gonna kill the first blade too. Yep. But next turn, if it's if he hits a blocker, then the first blade is better at attacking. All right. I've drawn a lot of lands. Uh, I got in there for four. But I finally drew a green mana. Deadly Recluse. Till end of turn. Kill it. Uh. So I'm with both. Play this. F4. Just a bluff shock, obviously. Muscle sliver. What? Muscle sliver. Jeez, shock is really good against me. Um, I guess I put this here. There's some argument for putting it on the first blade. That way, if I draw another creature, I can. Or I guess it doesn't matter. I guess that's a, okay. Uh, well, then I'm gonna attack because I would rather our creatures trade. Okay, so I have a planes in hand and my opponent has a card and a draw step. And I'm dead. I drew a lot of lands. All right. 
Yeah, take five. Okay. I really wish I had shocks. Wow. All four shocks. Not that it matters. Mugging is effectively the same. So the odds aren't really that bad of it dying. All right. I am drawing dead. Watch. Uh, oh, it was even going to be a land. All right. Anything I want to add now? All my creatures are so bad against the infinite shock deck. No, I think we just want to draw better. Draw more, less poorly. We'll play first. Uh, Mulligan. Keep. No, for a skilled gate, go ahead. Wanna play the forest, Glade Clover Scout, I bet. Glade Clover Scout. We draw madcap skills, we pass the turn. Wanna play mountain? Dragon mantle, that's what I wanna see, dragon mantle. Yeah. Like, not, not in this situation, but I mean, it seeing play. Jeez, I'm, my throat's dry. I need some water. All right, opponent gets in there for one. Uh, since my opponent's tapped out, I'm going to play the first blade. No red mana up, so I'm going to get in there for the fours. Not like I can do anything to this dragon mantle anyways. It's on a hexproof creature. Right, opponent plays a mountain, swings the clover, pumps once, leaves open red, green, second main phase, mugging. Okay, I'll just play a Skylight Legionnaire, and a tap land, swing for two, say go. And plays the third mountain. Gets in there with the clover. Doesn't pump at all. That's not suspicious. No. I'm assuming this is Chandra's Outrage. Which is why I'm not playing the madcap skills. Oh, look, it's Chandra's Outrage. It's a good thing I didn't play Madcap Skills. <laughs> Alright, what do you got now? One has four cards in hand to my two. Alright, they play a forest. Swing for one. Two. And, uh, okay, I'm going to play the first blade first, see what happens. All right. Well, I think this is another Chandra's Outrage, so... Yeah. All right. Now, for a mana efficiency's sake, I'm going to play the Madcap skills on the Skylight Legionnaire. Just in case, because next turn I can't. Um, if I don't draw an untapped land, I can't play both if I ever get a target for this Chandra's Outrage. Opponent plays a second Dragon Mantle, draws their card. Draws a third Dragon Mantle. 
draws their card, probably looking for a shock for my Skylight Legionnaire. Sky Knight. Skylight Legionnaire. Springs with a triple dragon. Oh, and Slaughter horns it for some reason? I don't know. I literally can only jump block here. Oh, because then I'll die, eh? They, if they draw a mountain? Guess not. I'm going to block first before I do anything. Okay. I'm waiting till priority gets passed to me. All right. Uh, green. Uh, I think that's okay. Cool. Because I have Chandra's Outrage for whatever this is. Kapow. Ooh. Good thing I blocked. Now this last breath seems terrible. Do I play around my opponent having nothing? Huh. I'll play it safe. Well, it didn't matter. I guess it does matter. We'll see if I'm dead. I'm not dead, yay. Leashed? Yes, leashed. No, no I would not. Okay, no attacks. Am I gonna have to like last breath my own splatter stug? Uh, four. Yep. <sighs> uh. Okay. Technically not dead. Technically still not dead. <laughs> okay. Technically still not dead. Oh, I guess that's why the muscle sliver's in there. To go with the striking sliver. Alright, I have to top deck again. Okay, now I'm dead. <laughs> I won't, I won't concede. We'll see what happens. All right, I died. This match, I don't know. This again doesn't have any Theros Born of the Guards card in it cards in it. 